Hi everyone, my name is Makeda Valletta, also known as the Body Scientist. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have, uh, I'm a strength and conditioning specialist, I'm certified by the NSCA, the National Strength and Conditioning Association. Um, strength and conditioning specialist, what we do is we take athletes over a competitive season and we look at all their competition dates. So all the dates that they have competitions and we develop workouts in the gym to help prevent injury and increase performance. Nobody is in peak condition every day, all the time. But when you're an athlete or a performer and you have to perform and you have to be your best on a day of the championship or you know important games that like you have to be able to perform, you can't wake up feeling tired or achy or heavy or you know sick. So um, and so and we also look at the common injuries in that sport. So the, the biomechanical and physiological demands on that athlete and we develop workouts to help prevent injury, to help, you know, strengthen imbalances and to increase performance, help them run faster, jump higher, have more endurance. Okay. Um, I also am a US um, USA Olympic weightlifting coach. Um, the Olympic lifts are like in the Olympics when you see um, people that have like three hundred pounds in the ground and you're in the deadlift position kind of bench um, bent over and then they yank up the weight and throw it up, land into a squat and land into a lunge. Um, with the weight overhead. Um, that is on a big weight thing, which is all power athletes also do. Track athletes, throwers, sprinters, basketball athletes, um, football players, anybody who needs to be more explosive. So those lifts are strength and explosive lifts. Okay? Um, and I'm also a sports nutritionist. And sports nutritionist, what we're looking at is timing of meals, um, timing and combinations of meals for optimal performance and recovery. If you are going, if somebody is swimming three hours a day um, in the morning and then, you know, um, running two hours in the evening or dancing two hours in the evening, six days a week, they need to, you know, what they eat and when they eat it has everything to do with how hard they're able to go during the workout, how well they recover, and how hard they're able to go tomorrow, okay? So um, that's what sports nutrition is dealing with. Um, however, I do have a background in uh, pathology as well. Um, before I got into exercise science in school, my, my, my degrees in exercise and sports science and nutrition. Um, but before I got into that field, I was in biotechnology, which is all about genetic engineering. And so in the 1990s, you know, before anybody was talking about genetic engineering, I was all up in that, you know. Um, and what I've come to learn and, and see just from going from biotechnology into um, the movement sciences and nutrition.